Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Single Scoop. This week, we've got a super deck. Well, one more based around Gideon. Uh, it's a Gideon tribal deck that's got a few other, you know, Planeswalkers along with it. So Gideon and friends, if you would. We've got Chandra, and of course we got Sarkhan. And we're pretty much just a Boros control deck as opposed to my uh, usual, uh, like, blue base control deck. So I wanted to see if I could build more control in other colors. So, uh, without, you know really like going into too much detail here uh we are just using a bunch of planeswalkers i had mentioned and that is the general gist of it that's our win con that's how we do it our snowman is really here for frostbite i thought about adding in faceless haven as a potential like a another way to like close out the game and maybe that's something that's worthwhile but right now with the colors that are needed like double white or something like that i just don't want to possibly risk drawing a colorless land so uh if i am to add a colorless land maybe it'll be just one or two but not too many other than that. So other than that, it's just all sweepers, a few spot removal spells, and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to see how this deck performs. If you're looking to relive all of the sweet cards from Time Spiral Block, don't worry, because Card Kingdom has Time Spiral Remastered up for pre-order now at cardkingdom.com. Wow, that is a very Planeswalker-heavy hand. Uh, no removal. Okay. <laughs> Probably should have some kind of interaction, if I'm being completely honest, so... Alright, let's play Authority of Consoles. Let's see, are they some kind of aggro deck? If they're not, they're totally gonna laugh at us for even playing this card. Alright, so it's Soul Warden. Alright. Not bad. So Mono White, where, of course, maybe uh, Authority here isn't as great because it's not like Grohl or Goblins. But you know what? It's fine. We're still able to gain some life. I don't hate the sound of that whatsoever. And now I'm going to go ahead and play Gideon of the Trials. Go ahead and get an emblem. Pass to the opponent. Save yourself and give up now. So we pretty much got to blank whatever the next creature is that they're playing. Because whatever three drop they're playing is definitely going to hit for a lot more than one. Oh no, it's Skyclave. Alright, sure. Um, through me. huh, I can only deal one damage here. I don't even know if that's good. I don't know if I can allow them to gain more life either, right? Because what's a four drop? Oh, I guess I should just play another Gideon. Together, we can banish evil from this plane. Sure, give it indestructible pass. The so they play anything with four toughness and immediately everything gets plus two plus two. I need to find any of my sweepers right now. We're pretty desperate. We're pretty desperate. Because right now we've got a bunch of lands. I can deal three damage next turn, which can't deal with the Valkyrie. Which does need to die. Now, if they do play something like Skyclave, at least I get to pick off the Soul Warden plus the, the Skyclave. Thus getting me a 3-3. Three, three. Now, if they Coco here, they could potentially hit something pretty nice. But they're probably going to wait until the end of my turn to do it. You hold no power over me. Um, let's see. Do I even care enough to it? I'm just going to attack here. Uh, yeah. I'll go ahead and just give this indestructible. Share in my light. This should at least lower their health total a little bit. Alright, there's Coco, as expected. Alright, Skyclave. What's Skyclave taking? 
So they are going to gain enough life to where this will grow because you'll have 25 or more life. That's four health into into the board, which means that, yeah, I can't kill anything anymore except for this one threat. I guess if they block with the Valkyrie, I could kill it. Okay. So in that case, that's pretty good for us. So we'll deal three. One there, two here. All right. So Gideon's gonna take four. Yeah, another Angel of Vitality, you got it. Again, another, I mean, I need a sweeper here. I'm not out of it by any means. Just need to find a sweeper. Or another land, but I can lower their health. Neither monsters nor gods will stand in my way. Find your valor and fight. Uh, sure, give that lifelink. Why not? I get to shrink some things. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play a land and pass. Unfortunately, Gideon's still gonna die here. Unless for some odd reason they don't have a single... It'll still die even if they don't play a creature. Skyclave getting rid of Elspeth here. That's pretty bad for us. Still, I could okay. Do so it's up to our deck now to give us one of our many sweepers that I know we have. We have a ton of sweepers. We also now have a mountain. Okay. Doesn't feel great, if I'm being honest. All right. Cool. Another land. We do play many of them to draw. Especially at uh, key points and critical points in the game. That's my favorite time to draw the lands. Um, good, 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 good. Let's take six. Another authority of consoles. All right. Every creature they play, we gain more life. I'm going to put this uh, in esports mode now. All right. Guess I take... I'm down to nine. Guess I'm down to three because uh, I've gotten a lot of lands here. This does not feel great. They could just play a creature and kill us too. But I think they're being generous. All right. Here's a sweeper. Here's a sweeper. Come on, game. I know you hate me, Shuffler. I know you hate me. But what if... Hear me out. What if you didn't give me nothing? Wow. Look at us go. I guess the Shuffler, in a way, listened to me. Maybe they don't know about my ability. Not on right? Like, they, they don't know, like, the, about, about my emblem. They'll just, they'll just attack me, right? Like, maybe they, oh my gosh, they actually uh, are gonna, I might be alive. Alright, so if I ever lose this Gideon, I'm dying. If I ever lose this Gideon, we're dead. Come on, deck, give me a sweeper. Come on, deck, give me a sweeper. Come on, deck, give me a sweeper, please. What is that? When was that earlier? Oh, man. I've got you. Okay. So, how's this gonna work here? They, we might actually be able to do something about this here. Okay. If we just blow up the Skyclave Apparition, we get a block, right? Right, we get to block. Sure, Gideon takes four. 
six, so we're dead next turn. Okay. So I just gotta s not draw another land, that's all. That's all. Just not to draw another land. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Not Whenever not you attack with two or more non-Gideon creatures, put a 1-1 one -one counter on each of those creatures. So hold on, let me see. That's 5, 10, 14. Close. I, I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, Get in for five and play another land because lands are good for the game. Uh, lands allow us to cast spells. Spells are good for the game. Ah, very good. Strong, very strong. So we gain four life here. All right, Gideon's down to one. They're attacking with a ton of stuff. Interesting. Alright, so we die this next turn now. Yep, we're dead! Because the game gave us every land in our deck. Very strong, very strong. What a bummer. We were so close. We stabilized for somewhat. GG. GG. Uh, I'll try this hand. Sure. Seems good. After that last game, I'm going to keep any interaction I can draw here. Surely I'll just draw my lands anyways. It'll be fine. Mountain. So is it goblins? Well, it's definitely something aggressive. I'm not using my sweeper or my my uh, one mana answer on that. Frostbite's probably got a better target. And if not, I'll just deafening Clary on everything. So we play the pathway on the white side. What do you have, opponent? What do you have? Now, I could get extra greedy. Just let them keep all this stuff. I, and, and then just go Doom Scar. <laughs> I know there's a huge part of me that wants to do that. So we take three next turn. There's no way they don't play anything, but... No, I can't get that greedy. I don't want to take three damage to the face while also giving them the chance to Wizard's Lightning. Now, if they play... Uh... Oh, okay, that's fine. One, two, three. So we have three permanents. I can go ahead and blow this up now so I don't get pinged down later. Uh, ECD's not really going to have much to do here. Alright, land. Nice. Uh, to each opponent. Cool. You will feel the lick of my behold. So now I have a dragon. So they must be just a straight up burn deck. I mean, Thermo Alchemist pretty much ensures that they are. Okay, opponent, what else do you got there? One damage, I'm down to 15. Alright, Skewer, you got it. Feels good. The dragon does not lose. I'm just gonna go ahead and play Elspeth Conquer's Death.
This allows me to go ahead and just get back my dragon in a turn. They have burn spells. They just don't want to send it at my dragon. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and start hitting them. Because I can't just sit back and wait. Because they have inevitability. Alright, so I'm down to 13. This card's already done a lot of damage over its time. Light up the stage. Alright, shock. So you go Steamkin. Yup. 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 Land. Well, so this means that next turn, it's going to cost them all their mana. Okay, let's go ahead and just birth a Miletus. Get another planes out of our deck. Solid. Now we have our mana for our Chandra. Let's go ahead and get in there for some damage. And then I'm gonna of course use Doomscar. They pay full retail for that, uh they pay Actually, an additional two mana for that shock, so... Sure. So this will be the last we hear of this Alchemist. I'm down to ten. Or then nine, after they untap their Alchemist. Alright. So in two turns, we have two life to gain. We also get back a Sarkon this turn. All right, it's Alchemist again. Oh, perfect. All right, then. Um, go grab that plus one loyalty. Get a wall. Make a dragon. Let's go ahead and play Chandra. I know who I am, and no one is telling me what to do. I'm going to go ahead and plus two here. Give them an emblem. Yeah, it doesn't feel good getting pinged down now, does it? So at most they could deal here is let's say they draw a three damage spell that's five so I'm down to four. Next turn I can go ahead and kill it, get him to use that burn on me, and then I play Gideon an emblem. If they are even alive that long, which they aren't because they would take four, eight, twelve. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this. This seems this is passable, right? I mean, yeah, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. I'll play the Clifftop Retreat in the event that we draw, like, Alpine Meadows or something like that. All right, so it's Rakdos. We get Thoughtseize. Classic. Um, let me see here. They're going to be all Planeswalkers all day long. Or, I mean, all removal all day long. So what I need to have done here is I need to tuck away this Doomscar if they don't take it. Um, yep, they took it. Okay, well, they chose the right choice. I'm going to play the Mountain because I think that they're going to try to Thought Seize me again anyways. But, or I guess if they're going to do that, it doesn't really matter. Probably should have just played this so I don't take an unnecessary two damage. So they're going to Thought Seize me. I'm going to go ahead and just make an emblem. I need to get rid of this Arcanist. This Arcanist getting another Thought Seize is really bad. Because there goes my Chandra, which is the only card that actually interacts with their board right now. Oh, boy. All right. This is going to feel bad real quick. Yeah, I, I need I need that, that Doom Scar. I needed that Doomscar pretty bad. That was a very good thought seize from the opponent. So 
So I'm gonna lose my Gideon anyways. That's new. Oh wait, hold on. Now it's my turn. Uh okay. I can go ahead and blow up the Arcanist. If I blow up the Arcanist here, does that do anything for I mean, at this point now they can thought seize. I maybe I should have just left the Arcanist. Like if I, if I just leave the Arcanist, who cares, right? Yeah, maybe maybe I should have targeted. Uh, well, we'll see if they cast that or not. All right, so they're down to a total of 12. I can try to attack. Uh-huh. So that's another chunk of damn. Okay, well they got everything back. It doesn't matter anyway, so I need to find a sweeper again. I'm gonna go in for four. If they have Kroxa, this is gonna be really good for them, but if they don't. Yep, alright, they got it. So, sweeper or bust? And, it ha well, I guess it's okay, because I can draw. I still have the luxury of drawing something like a uh, Doomscar or, or Shatter the Sky here. Doomscar would be ideal because I can stow it away, but... Alright, so I have no cards in hand. I'm empty-handed. I'm down to 20, though, so I still have a lot of life to play with. Frostbite, not a bad one. Not a bad one. They have no cards in their graveyard, right? They only have two cards in the graveyard, so... <laughs> I can only deal two damage though, so I'm killing the young Pyromancer if I'm killing anything here. Or maybe I just take this damage. Let's just take the damage, right? Because I mean, if they play Luris, then I get to kill Luris. Perfect. Gains me a life. I don't have I don't have three snow permanents. If you're wondering, they I I, I I'm assuming they have village rights. Yep, you got it. Once again, sweeper, please. How would that work for us here? So I guess I can do this. I can go ahead and minus. Andre, you need more control. Just let me burn. Kill off the young pyro. Remember this one? If they cast it, what do they have in the graveyard again? I don't like, oh yeah, they have village rights, sure. So they could sacrifice something if they want. Otherwise, it's only six damage each time. And it's really only four damage to me because two is going to go to Chandra. I still have a shot here of drawing Graft Digger's Cage. As the, like the way the board is right now, I have a chance here of drawing Chandra and then just, you know, or a, a Graft Digger's Cage and then just drawing a Sweeper. All right, good, I guess. I mean, the card replaces itself. Uh, actually, they are super up on cards here, but what are you gonna do? All right, I guess they're down to four cards in the yard now. Just walk it off, four, Shandra. five. So they have five cards. Every creature they play nets me another health. All right, so this is their turn to go and deal as much damage as they can. And then I get a turn off. So that's four, five damage from the opponent. I'm at ten. I'm, at, I'm going down to five. 
Croaks are coming into play. We'll put me down to two. All right, so every spell they cast is going to gain me a lot of life here. That I don't hate whatsoever. I don't know if I would have done that. Uh, okay. Opponent's not going to play anything good. I mean, I have to sweep, right? There's no way I'm not. Alright, so they're going to get three cards in the graveyard. Here comes Kroxa. Yep. Kroxa's happening this turn. I guess now what am I drawing, right? Like, I mean, I, I got to find another answer to this Kroxa. Ooh. Maybe Glass Casket is something I guess I have to put into this deck because I feel like there are a lot of Rakdos Pyros. Either that or increase the amount of Graft Diggers cages. Oh, nice. It untaps it. GG. Good job. All right. I'm keeping this. Planes. Okay, Thor. Okay, so it's a prison deck. Since it's a prison deck, I'm not going to play this cage. Uh, yeah, okay, sure. Uh, well, that, if that's a Doom Scar, then it does nothing to us. Cool, at least we have the ability to shatter their, uh, their little friend here. Authority of Consoles entirely shuts down, uh, our, our Chandra here, our, our tokens, but... The upside is that we actually just get to have it on board, which means that our four mana Chandra, if we draw the land for it, can ultimate pretty quick. But that would require us to draw the land, and that's a joke. So we're not doing that. But I have a braid also for the Immortal Sun, which which is more so what I'm going to probably use it on. Your weapons won't help you win. Emblem, pass. I just want to burn stuff it's already. time to give up. We are so close to ultimating here. I mean, like, just we just need this to be on board, and then we get to ultimate. Oh, no, that's bad. And another land to really drive the point home. Okay. Thank you, game. Amonkhet deserves to be liberated. Sure. We can do this together. I don't know if I care enough to blow up the Cosmos Elixir, because... I mean, I guess, how do I beat? Oh, boy. And the Immortal Sun's fine. Can I draw a land? All right, cool. Okay, I could minus here in case they have another Immortal Sun. I think that matters to me more than them gaining two life. Fire. So I'll just go ahead and hold. Alright, approach. That's pretty good. They draw a card. They're going to continue to draw a card. can do this together. This will be easy. Uh, I guess we just have we're at a in a race for time here, right? If I draw a land, I think they're dead unless they drew another. Oh, they already had it. Good game. Uh, 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 did you like that, chat? Did you like that? Good game. Good game. That was, that was pretty good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is the
the game broken, opponent? Oh no. All right. Drew the land. Loyalty on each red creature. Find your fires of passion within. Let's see, what can I do now? I can go ahead and just immediately play that minus, swing in, that's eight. There's no problem. Okay, so I can go now and play Sarkon, deal five. Um I've been waiting for this. Might demands power. Okay, so now we have to pass. I still have the ability of Chandra here to minus and cast my abrade. Which will then knock them down five. So they have to get rid of Gideon, and then they can cast Approach. Yep. Yep. Seems good. Analyze and found wanting. So now that they have uh, the Immortal Sun going, I can go and play this. Don't care. Have them. Don't care. That's at them. So they can draw two cards I here. Needed my help. I just need to be able to play two cre two things next turn, which I will be able to. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Nice. That's so good. I need to find an abrade. I need to find an abrade though. The facts can't be So I need it. What, what do I have to kill them with? I've learned a bunch of new burn spells to try on you. I need to find. So if I can find an abraid, that's my out. Abraid is my out. Five, six, okay, so they got rid of my planeswalker. Oh wow, that's perfect. Okay, cool. Um, so non-creatures, just do that. And then let's go for one of these. Yep, you're going down. Okay, and then now we animate here. And we let him know. GG! <laughs> Yeah, we'll run it. Looks pretty good. Early sweeper, got Breath of Miletus to get our land drops. See what our opponent's playing. All right, we're getting Thought Seized, so we're gonna go ahead and have to tuck away a Doom Scar.
We have double Gideon, so if they're like some kind of Phyrexian Obliterator nonsense, which I've been running into a lot of recently. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck that away, because I believe that they have Thoughtseize, and they're willing to do it again. And for some odd reason, if they are Thoughtseize into taking my Birth of Miletus, that's that's another issue. I'm gonna Windmill Slam into the board. Show me what you can do. I'm gonna make an emblem, and then I'm gonna pass. The side of justice will never lose. Okay, so now what do we do about this opponent and what their game plan is? So their game plan looks like it's not control, so it could be rogues, which is still control E, control ish. Uh huh. So it's God Pharaoh's gift. This abrade's gonna be very good for that. All right, now we pass. Let's see, can I get, if I can get res uh, this other Gideon to resolve, that'd be pretty good. Ruin Crab is a problem. I'm not gonna use my uh, Abrade because that's gonna still be useful in case they do have some artifact I care about. However, Doomscar. Show me it. Where's your counterspell? Supreme Will. There it is. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to combat here. No, I don't think so. Yeah, this seems like a good time to be using uh, our, our Gideon to attack. Considering that I now know that they are playing counter magic, a mixture of creatures, so we're gonna see which half of their deck they have. All right, sure. Fatal push has happened. Crab gets in for zero. I like it. Supreme will again, probably. Good. We're burning through all their counter spells. It's just you and me. Can I resolve another Gideon? I mean, they've already milled my lands and all of that. So at this point now I've Oh, cool. More counter magic, I assume. Nice. All right. So they counter another Gideon. However, we've still got Gideons. Um, I think I'm going to animate. No, actually, I'm just going to prevent the damage. I'm going to prevent the damage. This way, in a turn, when I actually do want to uh, attack with something, I, I can go and just... I can just animate and then leave up settle the wreckage, right? That's that's got to be better. Sure, they're just going to keep milling my stuff here. You got it. What do they have in hand? All right, now I'm going to go ahead and animate. There with me. Uh, what's that last card that they've got? Probably some kind of counterspell. Okay, what's the last card? No, I don't think so. 
So we got rid of the crab that's been milling us. Now I just need to make sure I hold up my mana next turn. If I have a next turn. What is this following turn going to look like from the opponent? So this Gideon only can prevent the damage that's dealt him. There with me. Stand down. All right, so they're gonna take four to the face. Next turn they tap out. That's kind of good for us. I mean, I know that Gideon Oathsworn can't get Fatal Push, but they can target it. All right, that does it. I hate that this that Gideon is just that bad, though. Like, Planeswalker, come on. They should have just made it indestructible for six mana. That's a 3 CMC card, so. huh? But the token, what does the token become? Let me read Embalm or Eternalize. May cat pay the Eternalize cost to exile this card from your graveyard and create a token. There's a copy of this of this card, except it's black for four. It has no mana cost. Okay, so then I'm just going to play this. All right, pass. What do you got for me, opponent? So they get to draw four, discard two here. Looking pretty good. I have to imagine they have a non-zero amount of like fatal pushes and stuff like that. Now if I can actually get this... Uh ECD to go off. What am I grabbing? Probably Chandra. Not if I can help it. Um, I haven't seen any discard from the opponent, but just in case. They've shown me a few Supreme Wills. I don't imagine they only play one. They've shown me Thoughtseize. That's the only discard spell, but I can't play around that. Yup. That's what I like to see. Show me that main phase Supreme Will. Okay, seems good. While we're still at your end phase, I'll just deal three to this creature. And that should end the game here. On top of that, I'll go and grab me a nice Chandra spell to play with. When people start screaming, I know I'm on track. No, I don't think so. All right, and we got there. GG. I guess I'll keep this. Uh, okay, so it's, well, their name is Scion of Karn. I have to believe they they are living up to the ty the name here. All right, so which two drop mana rock are you going to play? Guardian Idol. Oh, I am going to blow that up. All right, my turn. Anyone need a fire started? All right, let's see how this goes now. I just want to burn stuff already. The next artifact they play, I just blow it up again. All right, so let's go ahead and minus two here. That one draws you cards? I don't like that. 
think on my feet. So what are some other cards they could play right now? All right, let's go and just blow up all their stuff. Keep them off their mana for as long as I can. Sure. Tell me if you've seen this one before. Resolve. Okay, so now let's see. So now how do I beat all the other stuff that they've got going? They have so much, so many random things I need to blow up. Shigantha, you got it. If you face me, you will only hurt yourself. Fire spreads fast with help. I'm gonna put an emblem on the board now, and then I'll go ahead and pass. Let's see what the opponent plays next. Alright, there's an Ugin. Do I have a way to kill everything? I do, I do. Alright. So they'll get that last card. Turn this into a 4-4. Four -four. Get two 1-1s. One -ones. I'm gonna play Narset, or I mean Elspeth here. Make some more bodies, I guess. Together we can exact justice. And then next turn, if I draw a land, I can actually do a lot here. Cause I believe whenever you attack with two or more non-Gideon creatures, put a one-one counter on each of those creatures. They don't have an artifact, so they can't use Spire yet, so they have to use that energy. Three, six, seven, so they have Ugin in hand. Um, let me see. All right, so I'm going to animate. Turn this into a 4-4. Four, four. Stand down. They have big Ugin. That's the problem. Heroes, rally to me. We can do this together. Okay, we pass. All right, so now I have to wait. I mean, I have two more bodies on board, that's fine. I need them to pop that, that blast zone. They are functioning off of two blast zones here, which is kind of hard to beat right now. All right, here comes Ugin. Mind Stone. What mana are they, tr what are they trying to get up to is my question. Alright, so they blow up all the three drops. Seems good. Don't have enough swears right now. You wanna go, tough guy? Oh, this is gonna hurt. Um, okay. I'm a pretty great pyromancer. We can do this together. 
I'm just gonna get the Elspeth into the yard now so I don't get blown up by anything later. Three, six, seven, eight. They're down to seven. They need to find an Ugin. If they didn't have an Ugin then, they, they need one now. Because next turn, if I get to Emblem, that's it. Come on, I just gotta dodge Ugin. Dodge Ugin and like an Immortal Sun, but I don't know why they would play an Immortal Sun. They have so many Planeswalkers. So, here's the hoping that we just dodge Ugin. Oh boy, and we got there! Uh, I will keep. This seems like a playable hand of Magic the Gathering. Premier card game for ages 13 plus. I'm getting thought seized, aren't I? Oh, never mind. I don't know what you're doing, but it has an elf, and I don't want it, so... It looks like it's Golgari Elves. But I just gotta slow them down for as much as I can so I can get to Shatter the Sky. Winding Constrictor. Okay, so I am trying to desperately make sure I get to Shatter the Sky. Please don't Thought Seize me. Please don't thought tease me. Although when oh you're an Abzan, okay. You've got counters, don't you? You have counter spells. That's counter spells deck. Dot deck. Champion of the Lamb Halt. Could I? Okay. How risky is it that I play Gideon? Right, Gideon plus. On champion, because champion's the only thing that can get counters by itself. Uh, they have to actually target the Winding Constrictor, which would then make it not so great. Because it's already got a big... Or, I mean, it's it's great. Like, and it's already doing its job, but if they're doubling down on it... Oh, wow. We, am I liking this. So now we just sweep the board. They'll get a draw card, but you know what? Check this out. This is why I put the Shadow of the Sky in the deck. So I can turn Gideon into a creature. Better than I expected. Cast Shatter to the Sky. We'll both draw a card. And then get in for four. Oh, that feels so good. Yeah, that feels so good. Alright, so this is Coco time from the opponent. Yeah, I'll go ahead and swing in. Let's go to combat. With me. Now we just pass, because I know they have a Coco, so they're gonna try to play, get, like, what? Two big bodies out of this? I'm wondering which ones I can actually stop with ETBs on the stack, though. Alright, hold on here, hold on here, hold on here. All right, cool. Got ri We're gonna lose our Gideon, but don't, don't worry. We have Chandra next turn, unless they play like a bunch of big creatures this turn, or have a bunch of huge doubling effects this turn. Chandra next turn can at least minus three sweep the board a little. All right, not bad. Definitely not bad. All right, cool, perfect. So Chandra will come down. Okay, none of these are elementals, right? Okay, cool. And let's sweep the board, get all of that out of here, pass back to them. Now next turn we can go ahead and play Gideon, we have an emblem on them. Let me see, we have an emblem on them and that'll make it so that they just take a life every turn. Conclave Mentor being their life gain source. Grackmaw, alright. Plus. Let's get toasty. Five mana? No, I'm just gonna go ahead and sweep the board. I'm gonna play Gideon. I'm gonna sweep the board. Bless us in our righteous cause. Because I don't want that to grow anymore. 
Oh crap, I forgot to plus Gideon, didn't I? I did not plus Gideon. Well, you know, it didn't need to, that's why. Totally, that's why. That's a problem. Civilization has crept too well, far. Well, on the good, like, good down. news is... Oh man, this is gonna hurt. No matter what I do, this is gonna hurt. Wait, why don't they just what pump it? Warm reception. They could pump it, and then they could just swing in, and that'd be all the same, right? Good luck you picked while I'm the gone. wrong fight. That's enough. All right. Let us fight. I believe in you. Your end has arrived. Let's get this Vivian out of here before it continues to grow. I'm gonna love All I need to do realistically is now that we've got the emblem on them, we just, we, we wait. We try to last six turns and or kill them before that, which will happen. So this upcoming turn, they're dead if they can't get rid of my Sarkon because then both Gideon and Sarkon will come swinging in. All right, and that looks like that's going to be GG's. I'll block. Watch this. None of those fly, and that looks like that's it. Good game. So I do think that the deck has, you know, some legs to stand on in the best of one queue, mostly because of how aggressive the format is. So I would love to see if I could actually just maybe get this to be a little bit better against a few mid-range matchups. We kind of got lucky we didn't get get paired against too many of them. Uh, actually, I don't think we got paired against any of them. Uh, they were all creature-based decks, so this is perfect. I do think that, like, as you saw in an Obliterator match, we might need some better spot removal or, like, against a Kroxa. We might need something like Baffling End. Uh, Obliterator doesn't get hit by Baffling End, but we need some kind of hard removal spell, so maybe a singleton copy of Ixalan's Binding, or we could just play another Sweeper. Uh, other than that, though, I felt like the deck performed all, pretty much how, how I wanted it to. It's got the same issues as most... Uh, Boros decks do and it's that you just can't really filter your draws So I think it's time to start adding maybe maze mind tome And I think that's the biggest thing I missed from this because card filtering as you saw in some of the matches where we drew too many lands uh, Was I feel bad so I, I, I'll have to go back and probably tune it a little bit more to drop uh, maybe like a copy of Authority of Consoles and maybe one sweeper and then go up Maze Mind Tomes. I think whatever mid-range deck you're playing, control deck play you're playing, I think you want to have at least f like three copies of Maze Mind Tome to at least help me kind of figure out how what I'm going to draw and whatnot and set up my game plan. So either way, thank you so much for watching another episode of Single Scoop. And as always, I do appreciate y'all coming back and watching and supporting the content. Feel free to leave a like and a sub and hit the bell icon to be notified when a new video goes up. And other than that, your friendly neighborhood Asian Avenger signing out, and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.